there are some things that I just simply do not understand. I, I do not understand this. I do not for the life of me. And I will sound, my statements today are not racist, but they are racial. Uh, a racist statement is a statement that is made that has negative undertones or is negative concerning a, a certain race. A racial statement is a statement that uh, is made that has to do with a particular race. Paul made a powerful racial statement in Romans chapter 9 verse 1 th uh, through 3 how he mourned for his own countrymen who were Jews after the flesh of whom Christ was born and how if anybody should believe on Jesus Christ it should be his Jewish brethren since Christ was a Jew. That was not a racist statement but it was a racial one. I don't understand this. In 2008, um, when our president took office, black unemployment, unemployment in the African American community was 9.1%. Uh, during his um, reign, uh, our president has uh, started a job council, which has since been canceled. Uh, he used to get a monthly jobs report. He hadn't received a monthly jobs report in the last two years, even though he said as president, and this is a direct quote, he said this uh, in 2009. Well, he said this in uh, uh, 2011. He says, but you should know that keeping the economy going and making sure jobs are available is the first thing that I think about when I wake up in the morning and the last thing that I think about when I go to bed each night. With that kind of concern, I don't understand how the job council could have been disbanded. It was a few weeks ago. Uh, how he hasn't received a letter, any meetings from his jobs, monthly jobs report in a couple of years. And yet, unemployment amongst African Americans is four years later, 14%. And these are people who look like him. And I know what you're saying, well, Pastor, what you don't understand is that he's everyone's president. Well, I get that, but what my dilemma is, how is it then in that same period of time, he finds time to overturn don't ask, don't tell. He finds time to endorse homosexual marriage. He's even now writing, he, he's considering um, urging the Supreme Court to overturn California's ban on homosexual marriage. No president has ever spoken to the Supreme Court on a case that they are arguing yet to be decided and, and lend the weight of his office to a issue that is deviant and immoral and that only represents three to four, maybe five percent of the population when 14, 12 percent of the population is suffering unemployment at 14 percent and there is nothing, nothing said here. I simply do not understand it. Could it be, could the answer be that when it comes to politics, if you are committed to a politician, no matter what, they'll never get to your concerns. And if you are committed and, and faithful to him as long as he's concerned about your concerns, he has your vote, then maybe you'll get something. Here's what we know in our community. We have resigned ourselves to because he's black, we will support no matter what. And our unemployment, when you hear 7% national unemployment and all that, that's white unemployment. That's not us. And even though yours truly I got greatly persecuted by my own race, you have to admit every argument that I have made 
has been one that has been slanted toward somebody caring about the needs of the African American community. We need jobs. You don't hear me. We are a proud people. We are working people. Praise the Lord. We don't want welfare and a handout, another government bureaucracy. We want job friendly proposals passed. And they're jerking everybody's chain about this sequester. The sequester was the creation of the president. The sequester was signed into law by the president. It, it was invented from the White House. And if it, you know, everybody's now saying they don't want it to happen, but the people are being toyed with. This is why, as never before, you got to keep up with what's going on and keep your hand in the hand of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because one of the things you're going to see as time goes on, if you don't see it yet, you're going to see that I have been guilty when it comes down to this political stuff and that these uh, global issues. I've been guilty of doing one thing, that is having the courage to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, regardless of color. Because I think more of you than I do one man who seems to me is looking out for two groups, his own career and the homosexual community. Right. 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 So I'm through with that.